Hi guys, welcome to JavaInterviewQuestions.com. Today we'll see one important and basic tutorial called Dynamic Initialization. Dynamic Initialization. So before going to the Dynamic Initialization, we'll see what is Initialization. Okay. So let me define what is Initialization. Initialization means giving the value at the declaration time giving a value to the variable at declaration time we call it as an initialization initialization means giving a value to a variable at the time of declaration we call it as an initialization initialization means giving a value to the variable at the time of declaration let's see what is dynamic initialization Dynamic initialization means giving the value to the variable at runtime. Dynamic initialization means giving the value to the variable at runtime. We call this as a dynamic initialization. Let's see an example. We have written one main method and inside this main method what we are doing I'll give you two examples one for initialization and another for dynamic initialization int i equal to 10 so we are giving the value to the i at the time of declaration itself we call this as an initialization or just let me say it as 9 now now I'm defining int y equal to math dot sqrt of math dot sqrt of 9 okay let me check it's giving uh, double I think so okay so I'm declaring this as double instead of int why because the return type of sqrt is double so here we are not initializing the value of y at the time of declaration so what happens is at the runtime square root of this 9 will be calculated and will be assigned to y that means at runtime we are calculating the or we are giving the value to the y which we call it as a dynamic initialization so hope you guys understand the difference between initialization and dynamic initialization. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my video.